Jeremy Cook here from Beta Computing Design. Today I've got something that I'm really excited about. It's called the DSO-1511G Portable Oscilloscope or Handheld Oscilloscope. It's a single channel scope with a bandwidth of 120 megahertz, a sample rate of 500 mega samples per second on one channel, of course, a storage depth of 128 kilobits, and it's even got a signal generator, which is a fantastic feature for something in the $60 range. So here we have the DSO-1511G. We'll go ahead and turn this on with the power key, X key slash power key. And you can see it's nice and colorful. And if you need to zoom in, you do the MV on the voltage and then V for out. Uh, same thing with NS and S, that's the time period. So S, NS goes in, S goes out. Um, nice, nice snappy, snappy interface. You can go into the, the menu. So if you go to menu, let's see, menu, go left and right with the up and down. So it's a little slightly confusing, but you go into the different things. You can do frequency, amplitude, period, max, etc., etc., And you just select that with okay, on and off. So that's pretty good. And if you do, let's go back into menu, measure, trigger, display, different options for that. Auxiliary, set, and looks good there. Another thing that's secret slash in the manual, if you hit run slash stop, you can actually do a signal generator. So let's go ahead and, let's go ahead and plug in the included probes, or included probe, I should say. So plug that in, nice solid connector. It's got a 110, you can select it there. We'll leave it at one for now. And we'll plug it into the output and voltage probe. So plug it in there and let's see, 15. Let's go ahead and just do 10, 10, make, 10 kilohertz for now. So hit run and you can see it there displaying. Let's see, you can also do the MV and V to select what kind of wave it is. So let's just leave it at, leave it at 10 and we'll go into the menu and we'll do auto to auto, auto zoom it and stuff. It's a second, but yeah, it looks, looks pretty good. It's nice. Nice looking wave. And another thing that's kind of cool, you know, if you hit the X key and you can actually do a reference wave. So you hit that, press OK, and you can't see it now, but in red is actually a reference wave. So you can compare that to what with your signals later. So if you go back into run stop, or not run stop, yeah, run stop, and then if you adjust the frequency, you can see the red's still there, whereas the yellow is not, or yellow's, yellow's modifying. Or you can do, you know, say a, sawtooth wave or sawtooth wave different types of waves it has here other thing i wanted the other thing i wanted to do here was actually experiment with um, a light light sensor a little voltage divider and an ldr so let's just see how that works so if we hook up the ground to ground and hook that up to the voltage divider right here and then we will hook that up to five volts, five volt USB power supply. So hook the ground up and hook the positive. And should be getting something, some result here. Oh, we have to do, we have to go out of, out of this. So auto, and you can see, you can see there it varies depending on the, the level. So let's go ahead and zoom in or zoom out, or yeah, zoom in. You can see see it responding there. Let's go ahead and zoom way out. Let's see what happens. <laughs> yeah, a little slow, but that's that's what it is when you're zoomed out like that. So I think this is a really neat scope. It's obviously very portable. I mean, handheld, you might have a hard time putting it in your pocket, but you know, you could definitely take it on a job site or anywhere else. I think this will be an ideal unit for something that somebody like a student, like an electrical engineering student, or just somebody learning electronics that wants to know how certain experiments affect what's what's going on, your input and your output. If you could just see what's what's going on, I think that's that's great. Um, you know, for a fraction of the price of a textbook, I think that'd be invaluable. So I think there's a lot of um, good applications for this and it's you know nice nicely built. It's got a nice, nice yellow cover on it, so should be should hold, hold up pretty well. So thanks for watching. We'll have the giveaway information in the video description and you can find my written re review of this unit on embeddedcomputing.com. And yeah, so, so thanks so much for watching. This is Jeremy Cook for Embedded Computing Design signing off. For more content from Embedded Computing Design, including behind the scenes footage, raffles, giveaways, and just cool stuff that we're doing in general, 
visit us on social at the links provided in the bio below.